Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we have to start one of the article from physics, chapter number six of 12 standard syllabus, superposition of waves. We have to start article modes of vibration of air column. So today's article is modes of vibration of air column. In that two cases are there. The case number one, modes of vibration of air column in a pipe open at one end and close at one end. Okay. And the second one is open at both the end. So first we learn modes of vibration of modes of vibration of air column. in pipe close at one end so we consider a pipe which is close at one end so let i draw the diagram here so this is a pipe which is close at one end whose length is l now here when we uh, keep any sound producing source above the pipe then the wave enter inside it reflect here and we get this type of stationary wave here so this is this stationary wave having a longitudinal in nature but while showing we are showing like this that you remember so here at open end antinode is formed and as close end node is formed so you know that distance between antinode and node it is lambda by 4. So here this distance is lambda by 4. Now second mode we have to consider the same pipe. So same length of the pipe I have to draw here. So this is same pipe. Now in that we have to consider. So one and half loop. So this is half loop. And here we have to consider one loop so here at open end antinode is formed so this is again antinode here node node so this is a second mode of vibration of air column now here distance between node and antinode is lambda by 4 again this is lambda by 4 this is lambda by 4 3 times lambda by 4 but we already use lambda here so i use lambda 1 in this case so this is a distance lambda 3 lambda 1 by 4 now third mode of vibration of air column same pipe I have to consider here now in that I consider this pipe is divided into five equal part one two three four five then here half part means one part is a half loop then two part is a single loop this is a diagram so here antinode is formed here again antinode antinode node node and this is a node so you know that distance between node and antinode is lambda by 4 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 5 times lambda by 4 now here i use lambda here lambda 1 so here it is lambda 2 we use so this is 5 lambda 2 by 4 so let i name this diagram as a figure a so this is as a figure b so this is as a figure c now we have to find out frequency for each and every mode of vibration of air column in this case. So for first mode, so for first mode, for first mode of vibration, from figure we can write, you can see here from figure what you write this capital L is equal to this lambda by 4 so we can write lambda is equal to 4 L hence we can write frequency of vibration is frequency of vibration so we know that formula of the frequency is V by lambda so this is the frequency of vibration now if we use this formula we get N is equal to V as it is divided by lambda is 4L so we get formula for frequency n is equal to v by 4L v is the velocity of sound L is the length of this pipe this is 
कॉल्ड एज फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी और फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक ना आफ्टर दैट we have to consider second mode of vibration of string and for second mode so here for second mode as well as third mode also we have to consider from figure b now so you can see your figure b so from figure b this capital l is equal to 3 lambda 1 by 4 so capital l is equal to 3 lambda 1 by 4 by using that the wavelength lambda 1 is equal to 4l by 3 so here we get lambda 1 is equal to 4l by 3 hence frequency of vibration is frequency of vibration is so n is equal to v by lambda this formula we already used here now already i use n here so for this frequency i use n1 and wavelength i use lambda 1 velocity of sound in air is fixed so v for that velocity now let me substitute lambda so v by 4 l by 3 so that 3 shifted up 3 then v by 4 l so this v by 4 l is you can see here this is a fundamental frequency so we can write n for that fundamental frequency so we get here n1 is equal to 3n this is called as third harmonic 3 is coming so third harmonic or it is coming after the fundamental frequency so it is called as first orton it is called as first orton i hope everyone understood this second mode of vibration of string similar manner we have to obtain third mode of vibration of string so for third mode so same steps we have to write here from figure now we have to use figure c from figure c now you can see here the third mode is this which is represented by figure c so this l is equal to 5 lambda by 4 so in that case l is equal to 5 lambda by 4 so we can write l is equal to 5 lambda by 4 so i use here lambda 2 so 5 lambda 2 by 4 so we can write wavelength lambda 2 is equal to 4 l by 5 so we are written here 4 by 5 l hence frequency of vibration is frequency of vibration we can write i use n2 here for this case v by lambda 2 so v as it is lambda 2 is 4l by 5 that 5 is shifted up 5 v by 4l but v by 4l stand for this fundamental frequency n so we can write n instead of this bracket so we get 5n so we get n2 is equal to 5n this is called as so here phi is coming so it is called as fifth harmonic fifth harmonic or it is also called as second orton orton means which are actually present so here after fundamental we get this frequency 3n which is actually present here so this is first orton after 3n directly we are we are not getting 4n here we are getting 5n so 5n is called as second orton or second orton take okay, we can write conclusion here by using that so pay attention here first we get n fundamental then we get 3n then in third mode we get 5n then after that if we consider the fourth mode in that we get obviously we get 7n then next 9n 11n 13n 15n and so on so here we can write the general conclusion here so here air column in a pipe close at one end vibrate with n 3n 5n 7n 9n and so on it means that we are getting odd harmonic 
so n three five means odd harmonic we are getting odd terms we are getting so here this air column in a pipe close at one end in that case odd harmonics are present odd take okay. so question is already asked in the previous examination many times show that in a pipe close at one end odd harmonics are present so in that case you have to draw diagram and you have to write as it is up to the end as well as if you see the previous board question in that this diagram is also asked for two marks so draw neat label diagram for first three modes of vibration of air column in a pipe close at one end then in that case you have to draw this diagram and below the diagram you have to write labeling so this a is anti node n is node l is the length of the pipe lambda is the wavelength and so on so these labelings you can write i hope everyone understood this